Collapse conjecture, famously known as 3n plus 1 problem, is one of the simplest unsolved mysteries in math. The conjecture is named after Lothar Collapse, who introduced the idea in 1937. If you start with a positive integer n, if it is an even number, divide it by 2 to get the next number in the sequence. Or, if the number is an odd number, multiply it by 3 and add 1 to get the next number in the sequence. Each number is obtained by repeating this task on the previous number in the sequence. For example, if you start with 10, as 10 is even, we divide 10 by 2 to get 5. As 5 is odd, we multiply it by 3 and add 1 to get 16. As 16 is even, we divide 16 by 2 to get 8. Eventually, this goes to 4 to 1. And this 4 to 1 pattern repeats forever. The conjecture is that no matter which positive number you choose from, we end up with 4 to 1 pattern. This has been tested over 2 to the power 60 but not yet proved. All numbers till this eventually end up in 4 to 1 pattern. The visualization you saw in the beginning of the video relates to this series, though not directly. Consider the starting number to be 12. The series goes like this. 12, 6, 3, 10, 5, 15, 8, 4, 2, 1. If we start from the number 12, the number comes to be 6 which is even. If it's even, we go towards right by some angle. And if the number is odd, we go towards left by some angle. So if the series begins with 12, we get this interesting curve. If we start with 53, we get this curve. With different starting numbers, we can get different plots. It is not necessary that starting with a larger number results in larger curves. You can see these examples to verify. It becomes interesting when we plot this one over the other. This gives rise to different unique structures. It is incredible to believe from that a simple algorithm we got this random looking visualization. By tweaking the angle by which turns we get different plots. <laughs> 